Welcome to the Pyramid Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 6-hour ASP20 in 177 caliber. So the ASP20 was announced at SHOT Show 2018, which is where we saw it first. And a pretty interesting announcement from SIG going into that break barrel arena. Was pretty surprised by that actually, but the gun's available in 177 and 22 caliber. We have a 177 here to test for you guys today, purely because you ordered all of the 22s we got on our first shipment. So uh, appreciate the business. Big thumbs up to all of you guys that pre-ordered this gun out there. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, this is in the Beechwood stock finish. The synthetic's not quite out yet and I know there's also going to be a scoped package available at some point down the road with a SIG scope included. We don't have that quite yet. That is certainly common though. Now some of the cool things about the gun, we're going to go over it in a little bit more detail here. One of the biggest things that a lot of people like about this gun, built in the USA. Now that is built in the USA with both US made and globally sourced parts. So something to keep in mind there. But the fact that this is built and largely put together basically in their facility in New Hampshire is a big plus. You have Americans working on this gun, putting it together, QCing it, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Starting at the front of the ASP20, we do have an active suppressor here. Now this is permanently fixed to the barrel, uh, but should help us keep things nice and quiet and backyard friendly. We'll obviously sound test it and see what it's doing. Of course, that is affixed to a fully rifled barrel. And coming back to this breech area here, this is one of the more innovative things SIG has done with the ASP20 that really we haven't seen done before. Now, this is called their Keystone Breech Lockup System. And basically what they wanted to do is number one, try and eliminate barrel droop which uh, from a manufacturing process, if this is all machined together and made as one piece, which is what it is, that should take care of that for us. And number two, they wanted to make sure that you have a system here that returns the barrel to the exact same place every time you break it and reset it. Whether that's going to stand up over time or not, we'll find out. On top of the compression tube, you have a Picatinny rail system. Very easy to use. We went ahead and mounted a Leapers UTG 4 to 16 by 44. Uh, this is the side parallax option here with some hawk rings. Uh, dropping down here, you'll notice one of the, the features I like most on this gun is it has an ambidextrous safety. You got the S right there for safe. You flip it forward and you have the red dot letting you know you're hot and ready to go. And you will also find that located on the right hand side. It's super easy to get to so you can just flick it off from the firing position and then pull it back if you need to put it on safe again. Now, another big feature that SIG has incorporated here is a fully adjustable, what they call their match light trigger. You notice it does have kind of a flat faced form here like their X5 series pistols have. Uh, it is adjustable for both second stage travel and pull weight. So you have a definable range that it's adjustable in, which is SIG's probably one of the first manufacturers I've seen do this. It will adjust between two and a half and three and a half pounds in terms of where that trigger releases at. And then again, you can adjust for that second stage weight or that second stage release point basically uh, with this small Allen key. And then you have that this kind of odd screwdriver here uh, that will help you adjust right at the back of the action for that pull weight. So um, interesting trigger right out of the box, guys. This would definitely be a very solid hunting trigger. Uh, so far, no complaints with it. Now, rounding it out at the very back, we do have a rubber butt pad. And of course, it is set onto a very nice beach stock that is stained kind of with this dark gray black finish. Uh, it's a bit different looking, but I like it quite a bit. Uh, you have some nice texturing both on the forearm and you have a very vertical pistol grip, which is very comfortable for me. Uh, you throw the gun up into the shoulder. It's about eight and a half pounds unscoped. This thing shoulders very nicely. Uh, it does have more of a kind of like sniper style stock to it, uh, but I like it a lot. It, again, very comfortable and very easy to use. With all that said, guys, we're going to find out if this guy's got the goods. Let's head out to the range, see how she does.
All right, guys, so got some groupings here with the ASP20. Uh, tested about 22 different pellets here. It was a whole lot of pellets to go through. Put over a thousand rounds through this gun, shot the hell out of it. Um, really only found a couple pellets that produced really any good promise out at 45 yards. We decided to back it into 30 yards to start our testing. The JSB heavies uh, definitely were promising in our pre-testing. Didn't do so well when we put them on camera. An inch and a quarter group there. It's okay, not great. We could certainly do better. Uh, those JSB monsters, a heavyweight pellet, right over 13 grains. Uh, 0.68, so under three quarters of an inch here, a very solid grouping. And then our best ones, the Barracuda matches, uh, just over a half an inch. This is 0.51 inches, so a fantastic group at 30 yards with the Barracuda matches. Stretching it out to 45 yards, guys, stuck with all five shot groups. JSB heavies only proved to worsen about uh, just under two inches for all five shots here. Not very good, um, kind of what we expected after the 30 yard groups there. And honestly, guys, this was what a lot of pellets were doing at 45 yards. They just weren't even grouping at all. Um, but we have our two best here. So those JSB monsters, uh, five shots in 1.3 inches, four out of those five in 0.7. So four out of five ain't bad. Uh, but certainly still we can do better. The Barracuda matches again, uh, 0.7 inch, 45 yard group. Uh, this is exactly what you're looking for. This is gonna do it, whether you're looking for small game hunting or target shooting, 45 yards, ASP 20, got the goods with the Barracuda matches. So on top of being pretty accurate and putting out about 18, 19 foot pounds with most of these heavy pellets, the cocking effort's not too bad on this SIG ASP 20. You're only talking about 35 pounds or so. Pretty easy to break it down. Uh, didn't have any troubles during our testing, didn't give me any shoulder aches or anything like that. So the ASP20 is pretty easy to maneuver with as well. Before we get to the wrap up guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all you guys following along with us. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when we upload videos. Uh, comment down below, let us know what you thought of the ASP20, what you might want to see next, and don't forget to hit that like button. Appreciate it a lot. Now, the ASP20 guys, accurate, certainly has good accuracy out to 45 yards, three quarters of an inch is damn good for any brake barrel in my opinion. You got a very solid trigger on this gun. It's backyard friendly. Uh, you got the Keystone lockup system, which represents a step forward from a technology perspective for brake barrels, keeping that lockup consistent. Um, had no problems with scope zeroing and maintaining zero over a thousand shots on this gun. So that's pretty impressive. And for a gas piston guys, I found this very soft shooting and not terribly hold sensitive either. So overall, the ASP20 certainly has a lot of pluses going for it. Uh, releasing this into a market though, where $300 PCPs are now relatively common, I don't know if this necessarily uh, passes the smell test from that perspective, but if you look at it for the segment it's in, a high-end brake barrel gas piston air rifle, this certainly does everything that its competitors do. If you're a brake barrel guy, if you're a Springer guy, gas piston guy, this is definitely something that's probably gonna pique your interest and certainly worth a look. So definitely check out the ASP20 next time you're on pyramidair.com. For the Insider, appreciate you joining us today. I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you at the next one.